Hi folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. I am working on a sequence for someone and uh, I was trying to do an effect that I thought might be something that anybody else might be interested in doing. Now, uh, Steve uh, had a wonderful uh, uh, review on using layers and effects and so forth and this is one thing that I had wanted to do uh, with my mega tree is um, I have, we have the uh, nothing fancy here it's just the wave effect I have it set to red and these are some of the values I'm using you can you know make it whatever value you like I liked I like this value here for whatever I was doing and uh, the speed is good this is the speeds good it doesn't matter what the speed is really to me because we're gonna do some changes to that so first I selected one of these and uh, I chose red as one color and then over here in this layer setting box because we don't have to use the layer blending mode or we, we don't have to use these masks and, and, and these different uh, uh, one reveals two, two reveals one and so forth. Uh, you can also use these layer setting and along with all of the value curves that are in the effect setting to create some amazing effects that you really didn't ever have the opportunity to use before. So in this layer box, uh, layer setting box, I'm just going to click and drag up and I'm going to use about half of my mega tree and that just made this uh, model half the size it's only taking up the top portion of my mega tree now if I go ahead and let's right click and copy and I'm gonna select and I'm gonna paste now I've got the exact duplicate and I'm going to change the color to green and instead of leaving this up here I'm going to now slide this all the way down and then I'm going to bring it back up until I start to see the two overlap which it shouldn't happen well that looks good right there <coughs> now what we have here is two waves now it doesn't look like anything fancy uh, but I'm gonna do a couple things I'm going to change the direction of the second wave so now we have something different there and then I'm gonna do two more things and what's wonderful about the value curves if you really haven't played around with these you need to because this is how uh, anybody who does not know how to develop and program new effects into X lights this is how we do our own development and programming of our own effects so I'm gonna select the ramp feature and what what that'll do whenever I click OK is that will change that will take and change the scale of the height it'll take it through the range from where it sits all the way up to the very right it'll slide it for me through the entire effect so this is from from skinny wave all the way up to a wide tall wave and now the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the speed the speed is gonna go from we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna speed it up and then slow it down and how we do that we did the ramp before but let's go ahead instead of the ramp let's go ramp up and ramp down so it'll bring it up real fast and then slow it back down so now you get to see what the value curve does as it takes over up into the rest of the uh, uh, effect or into the rest of the mega tree so it speeds it up slows it down and uh, that looks pretty interesting so what does that mean well what if you take the other one and you do the exact same thing to it if you set your ramp and then you set your speed to ramp up down and click OK so I thought that was an interesting little effect because it's not something that you can create now if I'm if I'm touching the top one here, the, the top one, and, and I just kind of merge the two into the same realm together, they kind of start to blend a little bit, but they're still staying true to their areas. So I, I, it might not be the most amazing effect in the world, uh, but this is definitely an exemplification and the actual implementation of one of Steve's uh, uh, properties that he was talking about in his uh, in his uh, wonderful seminar he gave uh, two weeks ago for the classes. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Uh, it was something I thought, well, why don't I just throw this up there because I just created my own effect that was right here earlier. So it's something very similar, and uh, I thought that was interesting, so I wanted to share it with you all. Uh, I hope everything goes well with your build this year, guys. Con uh, congratulations, and keep up the good work, and uh, uh, I hope to keep seeing the videos and, and pictures and, and hearing uh, the good news from you. So take care.